All right, so if you're just joining us here, this is our basics of Onyx tutorials. This is Cues and Cue Lists from David Henry here at LearnStageLighting.com. And if you're just joining us and you get lost at any point below, we've got the link to this whole playlist that's gonna walk you through how to set this all up, how to get started um, and do it, follow everything we've done so far, okay? Now, if you're here with me now, we've just loaded this demo file and we've got our capture file open as well so we can see the visualization of our lighting as we work. Now, I've highlighted a couple lights just to get started. So to turn that off, I'm gonna press highlight again. It's up here as well, and then press clear. Awesome. Now we're ready to work. Now, cues and cue lists are the last thing to program to record. And it's actually really easy once we've done the legwork of creating those groups and presets to make our life easy. So I'm going to expose our groups tab right here, and I'm going to select our Artiste Da Vinci's, take them to full here on the presets, and place them in a position. We'll go with down fan tilt. Awesome. Let's go ahead and build this as our first cue. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and press record, and I could press any of the cue lists at the bottom to create a new cue list with my one cue in it. Now there aren't any open ones, so I'm just gonna go ahead here, pressing this main here to get to my different banks and go to bank three. Now I'll choose this first cue list, okay? Now I'm just gonna call it YouTube, make it a regular cue list, which is automatically highlighted and press enter, okay? There's different types of cue lists, but don't worry about that right now. Now a cue list, and this is really important. There's a couple important things you ought to know about it, okay? Um, in this example, when we record a cue list, it has a single cue in it. And so that's the only cue that's going to play. So it's automatically a cue list. It automatically can support multiple cues on top of each other. But that doesn't mean you have to do multiple cues or put them in there. In fact, a lot of times on a lot of shows, I only do one cue on a lot of cue lists. Why? Because I want to press that button. I want to raise that fader. I want one thing to happen and I want it to happen predictably. So we put one cue on. Okay, and so we've got our cue there, and if we press clear twice, we clear out our programmer, and we can press play and see that cue fade in. A couple things to note as they fade in. You notice there how every attribute of the light fades in and out. So when I press play, the intensity fades in, the position, color, anything else that we would have recorded is all faded in. Okay. And uh, there, there's different ways to, to manage this, but if you don't want certain things to fade in, you can check out uh, the manual about move in black or my additional videos inside of Lauren Stage Lighting Labs about how to manage this kind of stuff. Let's build another queue to show you a couple things about Cueless. So I've cleared my programmer twice and I've played this queue back and I want to add a second queue as a queue behind it. Now, by default, Onyx is what's called a tracking type console, meaning that if I record cues that add on to this cue list as a second cue, et cetera, et cetera, then the attributes from the previous cues actually track through unless I stop or change them, okay? And so how this looks in reality is I can go ahead, say I go and grab these lights, we're gonna give them a color, we're gonna go ahead and give them a gobo. And then we'll go ahead and give them some beam. Okay. And with that, I'm gonna record that as a second cue. Now, in the programmer, what I've actually brought up and then getting ready to record, if I stop this cue, is this. It's the lights with no position information, no intensity information, we can see in our programmer here what we're actively working with. It's just gobo information, color information, and beam zoom and focus information. If I recorded this to a new cue list on its own and played it back, it would look exactly like this. We wouldn't have any output from the lights. But because we're putting it on a cue list that has lights on it and they're already on, it's going to add to what was already there. So let's press record and add it. Press clear twice, and then we'll play back the first cue, already played back, in the second cue. We can see there how the attributes we've brought in have added 
to the previous queue that's there. This is important. As you're working with Onyx, you always want to think about what you need to stop or change, um, as well as what you need to add in. And if you're adding to an existing queue list, the easiest way to not get bamboozled is to go ahead, play the last queue on that queue list, then build what you're going to build in your programmer, then record it. Awesome. Now, once we've built some queue lists, we can go in and customize things about our queue list. We do that via the queue list values window. Here, if we go into edit mode, we can change a number of things about our queue list. Now, the queue list with the white box around it, the one that we've pressed on to select it, is what's going to show up here. That's how we choose our queue list. Here, we basically just get a spreadsheet. It's a lot like the patch window. We could go ahead and change the name. Maybe we want to spell YouTube correctly with a capital T. We can name any of the queues. We can change options for how they go, how they trigger. Do they go? Do they follow automatically? We can change the fade times. There's a lot of options in here, but this should really get you started and going. Awesome. With that, guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this, you'll really like my Onyx bonus videos, and you can click the link on the screen in order to get them. Also, we've got this full playlist below, linked to below, and in our next videos, we're going to dive in and start to work with effects. I want to show you how to use the effects. And then, of course, don't forget the bonus videos that have more info about diving deeper into effects. We'll see you guys in our next video and in those bonuses.